Hi everybody, I had a minor technical glitch this morning, uh, but I think we're about ready to go. I think everything's set up and going. Um, somebody's texting me though. So, um, let's just tweet out. Uh, my, my glitch meant that I at least knew that I wasn't streaming properly, but I also didn't get to tweet out that I was starting up, so. Um, there we go. Cool. So I have a new, not not new cameras, but I, I set them up differently this morning. A new setup for my um, streaming. So hopefully that goes a little bit smoother. But if it doesn't, let me know in the uh, in the comments. Um, I. <laughs> Don't know where my chat went, so give me just a second to pull that up, too, and hopefully I have that. And there's that. Sorry for any confusion. Um, tomorrow's stream should be smoother since this is a new setup, but um, we're going to play Wingspan today. So Wingspan is a game for uh, one to five players, if you haven't played it. Um, it has uh, a solo, solo mode that goes along with the uh, solo modes from the other uh, games in the Stonemaier line in that it is um, the Automa that you're playing against, which is uh, related to the Italian for Automaton or um, the, this AI that you're playing against. So uh, I'm going to be playing against the, the solo here, and it drew Prairie Manager, which is 19% of cards, birds that can only live in the uh, prairie here uh, for its bonus card. And I have to choose my five cards here and my one bonus card for myself. And then we will get going playing. Uh, I think everything else is set up. So let me know if you have questions or if you have strategy tips for me because I haven't played solo in a while. Um, but hopefully I, I don't forget anything. I don't think I will. But I, I, I do enjoy this game a lot, but I, I mainly play it with other people. I uh, only played it um, two times before solo, so we'll see how this goes. Um, so I need to select my my card. Uh, I can either take birds that uh, that eat uh, uh, seeds or card, bird cards in the hands at the end of the game. I'm going to take birds that eat seeds as my bonus card. Put that over there. This one at the bottom down here. And we'll see how this goes for me. Um, so I always take the first action, but I gotta pick my bird card first. Uh, okay. What can I, I got a turkey vulture, which is free. Actually, I think I might keep that turkey vulture because then I can get more cards, uh, but I still have to pay a food for it. Um, Short Toad, and I do have the European expansion in here too, um, so uh, we'll be aware of that as we're playing too. This isn't just the base game, I have the base game plus the European expansion in, so this is a European expansion card. Uh, Short Toad Tree Creeper, I'm going, um, I, should, I guess I should look at my bonuses. This is uh, round um, nests, birds with eggs in them. Birds in the wetlands, uh, birds in one row, and eggs in the um, tree hole nests. So, oh, somebody said something. Hello, hello, Wingspan. Hi, how are you doing today? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, do you have a favorite? Um, do you have a favorite card in Wingspan that you like to play? Um, I love the artwork in this game. Okay, so. I think I want to keep that one too because it has a brown power. Not just cool, but expensive. Archer. I'm only going to keep two cards to get going. So I'm going to be uh, starting a discard pile over here. Um, thanks for stopping by though. Um, silver Metal Tavern. Where are you from? Um, Okay, so I'm going to pay two food. I need to make sure I keep an invertebrate and a seed for this one. I don't have to keep any food for that one. So I just need to pay two of anything um, based on what's over here. I think I can get rid of the rodent and the fish at this point. 
Whatever bird that eats the smaller ones. Oh, okay, so you like doing the predatory behaviors. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty cool uh, when you can tuck those cards. I, I've definitely won a couple games that way. So I'm keeping Turkey Vulture and Short Toed Tree cre uh, Tree Ke uh, I can't say it. Tree Creeper. Oh, Los Angeles? I used to live in East LA. Uh, so I, I know the area fairly well. I need to get back out there and, and do some stuff. We're going to go back out next year. I love LA. Um, Okay, so it's my turn. I want to get playing some birds. I'm just going to play the turkey vulture for free so that I can draw more bird. Do I want to draw more bird cards or get more food? Uh, what what part of LA? Like L LA proper or? Uh, I think I'm going to play this here. So that's free, no food cost, no aid cost at this point. Uh, okay. Let's see. And uh, I, I've been going for a couple months. I'm not good at self promotion stuff, but but thank you. <laughs> uh, I have a YouTube channel that I, I focus on a little bit more. Um, yeah. So playing the turkey vulture here, and the the AI is going to take a turn. Um, I've really been craving uh, burrito from LA lately. Uh, so I'm definitely going to have to come out next year. Uh, okay, so round one, the AI gets an egg and then places a. Um, also, I mean, I know it's not the same as a local place, but like I, I love going to Rubio's um, just because when they have like their lobster burritos on special. It's fun, but uh, okay. So the AI also gets a point on the round card, and then it's back to me. Um, I'm gonna have to draw some more cards. Uh, maybe I should have played this up here. Oh well, I guess it's my fault for doing it that way. But let's see, the short toed tree creeper. Uh, if I want to play it, I'm gonna have to get some more eggs. But this bird can only hold one egg. So I, I made a strategic mistake early on. So I'm going to get another card. This one will count for my end of round goal. So I'm going to take the, I'm going to go here and take the Eurasian Golden Oriole and get that card. Uh, thank you. I, I, I'd appreciate that. Um, Do you, do you specialize in, in anything out there or, 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 or what, uh, what is the silver metal tavern known for? Uh, okay. Eurasian golden Oriole. All right. And it's the AI's turn. Um, round one. So they get another bird card, which means uh, oops, and I forgot to get a new bird card over here. So we discard all three bird cards from the bird tray, and the Automa draws one and keeps it face down. So we're just going to put that over there. And then we'll refill the birds. And it's beautiful here today. It's only going to get up in the 70s. Is it really hot out there? You always come in second place. I, I don't know how I'll do against the AI today because uh, the Automa today because I haven't played against it in a while. Um, they usually do pretty well when I'm playing against people, but we'll see. Um, okay, so I need to get this card out, and this card takes a um, oh, it takes exactly what I have, and I can play it in the um. Uh, the middle here in the prairie, uh, this is the Eurasian Golden Oriole, and it takes a um, invertebrate and uh, berries and any other. Uh, it's a joke with my stream. Oh, I, I'm guessing that means, I'll, I'll have to follow you. I'm guessing that means that you always lose to the AI, but um, I'm going to spend my three, 
three food here uh, to play that bird. Making sure I put my cube out here. And then uh, this one says once between turns when another player takes the gain food action, gain one. Uh, so that's not great for me, but it will account for my end of uh, round scoring. So there's that. And then the AI, the automat is going to. Um, oh, I get to activate my pink power here. So it's going to get a food, which means that it will um, discard the rodents this round. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> of course. I mean, I love playing games, but I often lose in solo mode. Uh, but that's part of the fun, right? Is figuring out the puzzle or how to do better. Um, so we discard the, the rodent here. And then I get both of my pink powers. So I was pretty lucky in that I have two pink powers out here. And this one is when another player uh, succeeds, gain one food from the bird feeder. Um, I think I want... I guess I'll take the invertebrate. And then uh, this one is, uh, oh, no, no, I shouldn't take the invertebrate from that one. I should take it from this one. And then this one, I should take my seeds so that I can do this, this short code tree creeper that I've had since the beginning. Uh, I've gotten pretty lucky so far this, this, say, um, this time you can say uh, Automa. Okay, so that is Automa's turn. And... I had an egg. I don't have eggs, so that, that means I need to play eggs. Uh, if I had eggs, I could play this card. So I will play this, get two eggs, and lay them on the Eurasian Golden Oriole. And then it's back to the Automa's turn. Uh, do you have a favorite solo game, though, even though you come in second place to it? Uh, and then this means that the take all the bird cards that match the bonus card and keep the highest point value and discard any others. So there's none that match it. Uh, draws one and keeps it face down. And we go there. And um, so far the Automa has scored tons of points, uh, which is good for me. But I'm going to play this short toad tree creeper. It will cost me an egg and my invertebrate and my seed. Uh, and uh, I don't love the, the power there, but the thing is it, I'm getting ready for round four plus getting more food. So that, that's a good thing for me. Okay. Um, Automat. Automa will uh, get a, uh, another bird card face down because there's none face up that match what it wants. Oops, I shouldn't have looked at that, but I'm not going to cheat. Uh, I really love you, Rosenberg, UVA Rosenberg game solo. Um, yeah, I mean, Feast for Odin is amazing. Uh, Agricola, Feast for, yep. I, I really like Lahav and Feast for Odin a lot too. Agricola, I don't know why, but like uh, the fact that I, I always had starving people maybe didn't um, didn't click with me early on in the game, and I haven't really gone back to it. Um, okay, so this is the oh we forgot to put a thing over here for the AI. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I've taken five turns. I just got off track thinking about a group Uh Okay, and uh, the AI Automa has taken five turns, so it's back to me. I want more eggs in here, because that'll at least give me two points. Uh, oh, but I also want, these are bullness. So which one of those do I want? I only have three turns left. Um, we'll do that last so that we can, I, th I think I want this one because this counts for any type. So I'm going to take this card, the Great Crested Deeb, like that. Um, probably should take my sleeves off when I'm playing uh, on stream because they kind of... It's true as far <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I just I hate uh, how I have to feed my people. 
Um, so there's the Grebe. And the food is available that I need to. Hopefully the Automa doesn't mess that up uh, for my Grebe. Make sure I get a new card out here. And uh, it's, oh, okay. It's just going to lay an egg. And back to me so I can get the food that I need. I'm getting extremely lucky because I will get my two fish. And there's that there to get ready to place that. And I agree. Reroll all the dice. Well, that was extremely, extremely bad. And then just last night, I'll be right back. Throwing dice all over the place. Okay, there we go. Um, so I got that. When activated, I could discard an egg from any bird. And if I do, I can play another bird in my forest habitat. I don't want to do that. Those are always optional. So I'm just going to go over here, and then it's back to the Automa. And the Automa is going to take another food action this time, discarding this one, and I get my peak powers again. And that means I get to get food from the um, bird feeder. This one gives me invertebrates or, um, or berries. So I should just take the berry one with that one. And this one I should, uh, um, I don't know. I, I guess I'll take the fish, because this one has a fish on it. So I'll take the fish, and that leaves me the chance to re-roll if I need to, too. Okay. And my last turn. Oh, no, no, no. How did I, I, I miscounted my turns. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, so I'm just gonna have to lay eggs here. I really wanted to get more eggs down here, but that's not gonna happen. So I'll just lay eggs and I can discard that extra fish to lay three eggs. And so I'm gonna lay one here. Uh, here and here and that is my turn and then the uh, Automa gets to finish out I think it's been a while since I played this one so let's make sure uh, end of the round da, 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 da. yeah then Automa does get to finish up the round so um, gets another bird card and still none that live in the prairie so it's just going to tuck another card over here and with that i finish up the round and um so the base score for the automa for uh eggs in roundness is one so it gets three so it's good um because it, it's the two here plus the one so it gets first place because I only have two and so I will get second place and your yeah I mean it, the Anima get two eggs and four tucked cards so it's at it, it's already beat me um, not surprising but I don't feel like I'm doing bad I have four eggs out here plus the points on my cards so that, that, that's not terrible okay so now to get ready, we're going to flip this and flip this and let's see, is that right? Yep. Okay. Flip that, flip that. Don't need to do anything there. Uh, we go through here and get rid of the one that says discard after round one. Um, remove after round one. Okay. Hello, Bernie Monkey. Welcome. I am starting round two of Wingspan here against the Automa. I think I'm doing okay. We'll see. I had a pretty good round, except I miscounted my uh, turns to get eggs out. So, okay. 
Uh, and I need some coffee. I need some coffee going in around too. All right, round two. I am going to get my grebe out, my great crested grebe. So I'll pay my two fish. Oops. And put it out here. And let's see here. Um, that was my grebe. And oh, I forgot to turn this too, because now we're on round two which is here. So Great Crested Grebe comes out and it, and it does say you draw one uh, bird for each empty card slot and then throw at the end of your turn and keep on discard the rest. Um, I haven't really been doing my bonus thing. What's your favorite solo game? Oh man. Um, right now, right now I have really, really enjoyed uh, Dune Imperium uh, because every game has been close. Um, it, and and I just played it again the other day after giving it a couple months rest, and, and it was, it was really good again. I, I enjoy that game a lot. Um, uh, as far as, like just what I will play every week, I play a lot of Roll and Rights. Um, Hadrian's Wall is fantastic for Roll and Rights, so I like that a lot. Round two, uh, the, um, the. Automa just got two more eggs. Okay. And back to me. Um, do you play any rolling rights, flipping rights? Um, let's see. What do, I have no cards in hand, so I better get some cards. I can discard an egg and get two cards. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to discard this one. And I get to draw two eggs. And, uh, two, not draw two. Um, so I need birds that want seeds to get this bonus card. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to just draw one off the top. Let's see if I get it. Black turn. Okay, and then this says draw one for each empty card slot in this row. At the end of your turn, keep one and discard there. So I get to draw four and keep one. And then we'll... Put this here for as soon as I'm done. Uh, mostly cartographers with... Okay, yeah, I love cartographers. Um, I'm hoping... I saw Thunderworks... Or, yeah, Thunderworks. I should be getting my cartographers stuff from the, the most recent Kickstarter pretty soon. Um, hoping to see my new stuff, because cartographers for a while is like one of my go-to games, period. Uh, I played the app and the the physical game. Uh, purple Galanul, that's really pretty. Um, but I don't think I'm going to keep it because it's expensive. Although, it, do, ooh, it does give me seven points. That's that's interesting. So I, um, these are all kind of expensive. Eurasian Magpie, Western Meadowlark, and the Great Tit. Uh, this one says, we reset the bird feeder if you do gain one food from the bird feeder after resetting. Um, I'm going to risk it because I like the power on this one. When activated, all players draw one card from the deck. Um, I'm going to keep that purple gallon duel. And uh, discard these. And then it's Automa's turn again. Now round two. Uh, I'm going to turn this this way to remember to discard that. Uh, get a bird card. So discard all three. That's okay. I don't love those ones. Discard those. And another face down card for the autumn. It was like the perfect pandemic game. <laughs> and, well, my problem is I worked full time in a game store until uh, September. And so by the time I finally got into streaming, um, Everybody had kind of cooled down on it um, when I really started around October. But um, yes, it was, it's definitely a good game to stream. It, it's very like calming and fun and puzzly, but I, I love that game either way. That's really pretty. The European Roller. Uh, that's a cool card. Oops. 
I'm just going to take this leave off and show real quick. European ruler. Okay. And let's see. Okay. So also the uh, AI gets a point over here. And this time we're doing birds in the wetlands, which I've set myself up a little better for as long as I pay attention to how many things I have left. Oh, same. Yeah. Um, okay. So my turn. I need to make sure that I can play all these wetlands birds that I have, these two wetlands birds. So I need uh, seeds and things like that. I can rebuild these because they show the same symbol. So I will. I will do that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to re-roll everything. Get two food. I'm going to bring this bird feeder over here so I don't drop dice again. Okay, much better. Um, I need to get... I already have this. So I need this seed. I will get that. I will also take... Um, Need either a uh, fish or a uh, invertebrate. I'll just take the fish. Get both of those. And so that's my two food. And then this says discard uh, an egg from any bird and play. So if I had taken an invertebrate, I could have played this round end. This Dunnock. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if I'm going to play that Dunnock or not. We'll, we'll see. That was one that I just drew off the top. Um, it might be a tucked bird. It might be become eaten by something bigger later on. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. And then here. Uh, and then it's Autobus turn again. Oh, I forgot to look at it. I was like, why? Why do I only have three? Okay. Uh, round two, you take the invertebrate out, and then I get to activate all my pink powers. Now that I've turned that, I'm just going to remove that. All right, all my pink powers. So I get some food again. Um, I'm going to take another berry and re-roll. Um, what do I want? I guess, I guess I'll get an invertebrate. An invertebrate. And invertebrate. So I have plenty of food now. And this lets me draw more cards. Um, so I'm going to play the purple Galanul. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. It, but uh, play that there. That will cost me an egg. Um, but right now I'm just trying to get birds into my wetlands. So I'll play the purple gallinule and it will cost me seeds, berries, and something else. So I think I will just make it be another berries. And that is that. And autumn is gonna go again. And the Automa wants to get two eggs. Two more eggs for the Automa. Okay. And back to my turn. What do I want to do? I could draw more cards. And I really need something that lets me tuck stuff. Is anything up here? This is when activated, choose one other player for each action cube on their wetlands. That's not really helpful. When uh, Place this bird sideways so it covers two spaces. Pay the lower egg cost. That's kind of cool um, for the roller. And it is the type of eggs that I need here for round four. So that's interesting. Uh, and when played, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. That's really good, and it's the right type of food that I need. 
Um, because right now I have, well, let's see, one, two, three birds. I need to get five birds to get the three bonus points at least. So this would give me closer and it would give me additional bonus cards. I think, I think that's what I want to do. I think I want to get this card and then I want to uh, um, this one's really cheap but it doesn't count for what I want but it might be good I don't know um, I'm going to draw off the top I'm going to be risky draw off the top uh, it gives me kind of what I need I don't know I don't it, it's a Thecla's Lark. When activated, discard one seed from your supply. If you do, lay two eggs on this bird. I don't know. That's probably the wrong choice. Uh, draw one from the deck. So I get to draw another one. Gold Crest. And that just costs a uh, invertebrate. And when I play it, discard one from your hand. If you do play another bird in your forest, pay its normal food and egg cost. Okay. And then... Uh, go over here, draw one card for each empty card slot in the row, and that then you're trying to keep only one. So, I'm going, ooh, when played for each rodent in this bird's cost, you may pay one card from your hand instead and tuck them behind. That's cool. So that's the Eastern Imperial Eagle. I'm keeping that because that's the seven point card and I have cards that I don't know what I want to do with, so I'm going to keep that. And then back to the odd one. And it's round two, so uh, I'm going to discard this, and then I get pink powers again. So what do I need? Um, I guess I should like plan this out. Um, I'm gonna take one for the one uh, one seed for this one, and then I can reroll for this one down here. Uh, how's the solo mode for weekend? Good morning. Um, well, hey Clay. Um, I I haven't played for a while. I have enjoyed it, but um, so far I'm enjoying it again. It, it's a uh, it, it it's Interesting. It, it's um, it's just basically getting points. So it, it sets up a, a number of points. So you get points from eggs, points from tucked cards. It will also take first place if it can on the uh, end of round goals if you haven't played it before. So it's uh, it's interesting. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I think I prefer this game. Um, forgot to put a card over here. I think. The, for this game uh, with with a group, um, but I love the artwork, so that makes it enjoyable either way. Um, um, okay. So I took my extra food because the Anima is doing that. And now I want to play this Eastern Imperial Eagle. I've never played it solo. I tend to like Stonemaier games solo and all of those, so maybe it's worth it. The only one I didn't love, which a lot of people like, is Viticulture. I like playing Viticulture with other people, but I didn't like the solo mode, even though it was like the one that got their solo going. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just because I had such a good time playing that game with other people. Um, so I'm going to play my Eastern Imperial Eagle doing the, uh, doing the alternate thing. So I'm going to take one and put it over here, which is to place, uh, three birds I don't want behind it. So I'm going to put this turn and this Dunnock and, uh, I think I'm going to get rid of the, that was Lark too. I've never played it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So 
I just turned this eagle onto a 10 point card, which is great for me. And then um, Adama is going to do the bird action. And now it can get one of these. So it's going to um, take both of these and take the highest value of one and then throw the other one away. It keeps it, unlike the other cards it gets, it keeps that one face up. So I know what it's doing with its, uh, with its gold card. Okay. And it's the end of the round. So the best thing I could do is, if I could, play something in my wetland. I don't have anything to play in my wetland, so I will just set up uh, getting more getting more eggs. I keep forgetting to <laughs> do my, my uh, end of the game um, bonus card. That's okay. So I will play, yeah, I'll get three eggs. Three eggs is good. I think the viticulture is probably the least interesting on my, okay. So it's not just me. <laughs> I, I mean, I just, uh, I don't know. It, it just, just didn't grab me. Um, I'm going to place this. I don't think it matters. So I'm just going to place it here. Uh, and then this isn't anything. This isn't anything that goes here. Um, and then the Automa gets one more turn. Uh, and then it gets uh, discarded the birds. Draws and keeps one face face down. Alright. So Tom um, Chief Chiff Chaff. I haven't seen that card before, but there's so many cards. Um Common chip shaft, black billed magpie, and a black throated diver. Okay. And then we get rid of the one that says discard this one after round two. Remove after round two. Uh, is there one that says remove after round two? Maybe I'm. Well, if it comes up, we know not to use it because it's round three. Okay. All right, we'll just shuffle those, flip this. And then uh, flip these. And I will score and the, uh, well, I should do this first. Uh, round two, we are uh, birds in the wetlands. So it says birds in the wetlands. Uh, round two, it gets one base point. I have, uh, so they have two. I have two. We're tied. Um, so I got to look up what happens when we tie. We tie. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, I did pick out that these are worth four points, um, the medium difficulty level. So uh, tie. What do we do for ties? Um, add the number of action cubes, which is one, sure, but what, what do we do in the case of a tie? In the event of a tie, the Automa has two leftover food, that's for the end of the game. So I, I'm just going to say we both get, which is nothing, we both get the first place. So, both get first place because we have two, but that's going to be a wash. So, um, Okay, I can't find it right now. Um, this is set, this is set, this is set, that's set. I think we're all good to go for the next round. Now I'm trying to get birds in one row. Um, whoever has the most birds in one row. And the Atma is going to get one, uh, two base points for that. So... If it gets uh, if it gets much there, it's not going to be hard to beat me. Um, but I have to make sure I get on the board. That's important because if I don't, well, I'm going to get on the board. But um, it's a three point. That's a three point swing for this one. Okay. Um, I have two cards. I need to get this greater prairie chicken out. 
because it gives me additional bonus cards, plus it counts for my bird feeder bonus. Um, so right now I need more seeds, and there are seeds in the bird feeder, so I might as well go over here and do that to start the round off. I'm going to go over here. I will take a uh, seed one, and then I will get an invertebrate one, and then this says discard a card from uh, an egg from any bird if you do play another bird in my forest, and I'm going to do that. So I'm going to discard, I guess it doesn't matter, from, from here. We're going to be laying more eggs soon. Um, pay its normal food and egg cost, so I have to pay another egg too, so I'll pay that egg. And pay this invertebrate. And now I have that there. <clears throat> so now I have three birds in, in a row, which is good. Um... And then that, and then that, uh, just let me play an extra bird uh, faster, which is helpful. And Automa, what's the Automa going to do? Automa wants to, round three, get three points from some eggs. Whereas my niece would say eggies, because she's three years old. So three, <laughs> three eggies, I don't know why. Uh, I guess because they're eggs. Okay. And... Back to me. I want to get my greater prairie chicken with its ridiculous looking uh, neck. See if I can show that off there. Uh, there's my greater prairie chicken. Um, I wonder what greater prairie chicken tastes like. Let's see. Uh, so I want to play my greater prairie chicken. It goes here. It's going to cost me an egg to play it there. So I will do that. But it also costs me an uh, invertebrate and two seeds. And i got to make sure I put my thing up here if they're doing that. Um, and when played, draw two new bonus cards. That was half the reason for playing it. Uh, draw the two new bonus cards and keep one. Uh, bird bander, birds that can live in multiple habitats. So this is one, two, just two. That's not great for me. Birds that can only live in the forest, one, two. Um, that, if I get one more of those, I can score that. So, but this one, if I get two more birds, this is four. Uh, I only need one more here, so I'm going to take this one. All right. And then that gets discarded. Somebody is texting me. Nothing important. Okay, good. Um, have a good day at work. Thanks for stopping by and chatting. I'll, uh, I'll try to check your channel out right after this. I really appreciate it. Have a good one. Um, okay. Do, do, do. Let's see here. So, uh, Automa is taking a turn. Automa wants to round three, get three eggs and or two eggs and a, a point on the round. So birds in one row is now worth three for the Automa. Um, two more points there. And back to me. Um, how did I end up with no? I, I played all my birds. Well, I did the food thing, and that's let, let me play this, and then I did this thing, and then okay, all right, that works. So I guess I need new cards, um, or just a bunch of eggs. A bunch of eggs is good too. A bunch of eggs. Because next time it's eggs and that type, which this one, this one, and this one, and this one all count for that. Mm. Let's get some cards. Let's get some cards. Okay. Because I need to make sure that I get birds that can only live in the forest. So I'm going to draw two off the top. I don't know if that would be good or not. Uh, failure. Okay, good, good. Good start there. And draw a card from the deck. And 
Another failure. Okay, fine. And draw one for each empty, which is three. And then hopefully, right. yes, I'm playing the Automa. Uh, it, it, it's been a while since I played against the Automa, but um, coming against it today, I think I'm doing well. We'll see. Um, yeah, so I'm going to discard that. I finally got one that uh, the Cerulean Warbler that is only in the forest. Um, I don't know. We'll see at the end of the game how I score. Um, I, th I think I'm doing okay, but I keep forgetting to do things. So, um, but it, that's mainly probably a fact due to me talking while playing. So, yeah. How are you doing today? Uh, round three. T the Automa wants to take fish or and then rodents. And then I get to activate my pink powers. Oh, working? Uh, yes, you can adjust the uh, uh, difficulty of the Automa. Um, basically, these cards here that are these tech cards, you score them uh, either three, four, or five points. Also, I, um, I've i chosen four for this game, which is the medium. But also, there's the Automa Bomb card. You can either choose to include it or keep it out. And that card gives the Automa uh, easier points. I uh, included that card in this game. Um, so I kind of medium difficulty is what I'm on right now with a little bit. Um, okay, I, I need to get this Cerulean Warbler out, which is a forest card, and then I will have this bonus. Um, it also eats, which will fulfill this. So one, two, three, four and five, which will help me fulfill this. So uh, I need food. That's what I need. I need the food. So I will get the seed that I need, the seed that I need, and then I will re-roll everything because I want a, I want a thing. I want, uh, oh, an invertebrate. Okay, and I got an invertebrate, so I will get that. And then I could discard a card to get another food. I'm not going to do that right now, because I do have what I need to play this Osprey. And I don't know what I want out of my cards right now, for sure. So, um, discard a card from your hand if you do play another bird into your forest and pay its normal food and egg cost. So, I will do that right now with my Cerulean Warbler. I have uh, a seed. Uh, invertebrate, so I will um, put that there. I have to pay two eggs to, and then uh, when played, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. So that gives me more bonus cards, also. Uh, birds in your habitat with the fewest birds. This gives me an additional two points per bird or ethologist. Uh, and then you want to have it two bird uh, points per power color, like brown, white, pink, or teal. Ooh. So that's interesting because uh, in any one habitat, two per power color. Uh, I, that's interesting. Um, I know how this one works, though, so I'm going to go with the ecologist. So, uh, I feel like that other one might have scored me more, but I haven't played with it before, and I don't want to do a rules lookup again in the middle. So, okay, I chose the ecologist. Um, I don't have any eggs to discard, so I can't use that one. Back to the Automa. Uh, Automa is going to do the bird action. Um, it has this one, and that's it. So it gets to uh, keep that face up. And then fill this, but it also gets a point over here for the round goal. And, hmm, I need eggs. And so I'm going to get three eggs. Uh, three eggs. 
And with that, we're going to go in these tree nests. Uh, I'm sure there's a proper name for them, but. Uh, and then we're going to go here and nothing and here and nothing and here and nothing and then here and back to the Automa. And I have one more turn left this round. I love how this game ramps up and then it just like really pushes you towards some decisions at the end. Um, okay. Uh, another one where we discard all three bird cards from the tray and Automa. Gets to step one. And no, no round scoring this time from bottom line, which is good for me. Um, but anything else good for you? We shall see. We shall see. If I get a last bird here, this is worth eight points too. So that's, uh, that's not a bad thing. Okay. And that is really cheap and good for me too. So I... I think that's more important than getting this Osprey is to make sure the Automa doesn't somehow throw this away. Um, so I'm going to take that card. I'm going to take this one. And I don't know. I'm going to take something off the top of the deck again. And a little owl. Okay. And when activated, draw. And got a ready duck. One of my favorite uh, artwork in the game. I just like I like Ruddy Ducks. Anyways, I've only seen a couple in person. Um, Ruddy Duck, and then draw three for the empty spaces here. Um, Cold Tit, Lesser White Throat, and Northern Mockingbird. I will keep. Uh, I will keep the lesser, choose a habitat with no eggs, lay one on each bird. I'm going to keep the lesser white throat. I don't know if I'll get to play it or not. Because these don't let me tuck birds anyways. Okay, let me discard that. This goes here. And it's the Automa's last turn for this round. And again, uh, it wants this one. And we're going to go, ooh, the common kingfisher, one of my favorite birds uh, around this area. When, except this is a, this is different. This is a, a European one. So um, we do have kingfisher down here, but they don't look like this. This is a really pretty kingfisher from uh, uh, Europe and Asia and Australia. Okay. But similar beak to the ones we have here in the U.S. Okay, so it's going to do that. Uh, and then it gets another point over here. It's going to be a thing. Okay, so this time we are scoring uh, birds in one row. And the base score this round for that is um, 2 plus the 3. So the <laughs> Automa counts as if it had 5, so it's getting first place again. And I get second place because I had 4 in my base row. And then we reset all this. Turn this around. We move up to round three. So we are already on the last round. And it's, uh, I made my watch is upside down. I put my watch on upside down right before playing. Of course I did. Um, I wonder why it felt weird. Um, Couple of these, we're at round four. Put this over to the round four side. Put this over to the round four side. And those all go where they go. Um, and then, okay. So my goal is to get out my last fourth card and then play some other stuff, and then get a bunch of eggs in the trees. Uh, in the trees, that's my goal. 
So I need to go ahead and do that now anyways. Um, anyway, so I will, I'm gonna get more food. So I'm gonna go ahead and discard this food and just get four eggs, I think. Uh, or should I get food first? Um, nah, I'm, I'll get the food I need. He said, and then never got the food he needed. Um, so one, two, three, four eggs, and I'll put them uh, here, and here, and here, and here, sure. And nothing else is a brown power. So brown town and back to the Ottawa, which will get three eggs. And anybody else drinking coffee this morning? If so, what kind? I'm drinking uh, Guatemalan blend. It's pretty good. Um, and then also it gets a point in the eggs and trees. Um, I'm going to have some coffee right now. All right. So eggs and trees is what we are going for. I have a bunch now. Um, I really want that first place for once. What should I do? Food. I need food. Food to get my last... Uh, my last uh, forest only bird out there because I'll have four of those. Oh, that doesn't help me a bunch, but it does help me with this one because I played my turkey vulture up there. I can't get the eight points out of that, but this does help me with this. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get my three food, and with my three food, I will take a seed. And uh, what else do I want? I don't want that. Uh, I do want a fish. Put that out there. And I could play this buzzard with a rodent. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a rodent. And then when I need to in the future, if I need to, I can re-roll. So a rodent. I mean, bird, bird cards getting out there are good because they're points, right? So uh, all the coffee this morning, nothing fancy, though. Vanilla creme brulee from Meyer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really drink anything fancy either. I just like the fact that I... Uh, I uh, grind my own beans at home because it always tastes better like i feel like half the time when i buy pre-ground coffee it's been sitting there for a while and the oxidation has happened and it i don't know it just doesn't taste as good i prefer grinding my own beans at home it just tastes a lot better okay so that's my food uh, i can discard a card from your hand and if i do i can play another bird so i'll do that right now just get my eurasian nutcracker out there um, so I'm going to discard this black red start. Quite the discard pile. Go on. Um, creme brulee, vanilla. That sounds really good. Um, I have to pay two eggs and a seed to get that out there. So I'm going to pay my two eggs one two and then i don't want to do that so that's it for that but now i finished that um and it's another five points for that type of bird first ground is definitely better we've talked about roasting ourselves i have a friend um who, who started roasting from home and now he has a, a coffee roasting business and teaches classes and stuff it's a lot of work and um you have to be careful too, uh, as, as far as breathing it. But he he loves coffee, and that's why he started his business. You know, to do it, do what he likes. And, and uh, actually, I think with uh, Capstone's um, coffee roasters coming out, you could get some of his coffee with the game if you if you backed it. Um, 
but Gaines, Gaines is his last name, but, but I can't think of what the name of their coffee company is here in Cincinnati. Uh, that's terrible. <laughs> um, oh, well, okay. Um, I did my turn. It's the Automa's turn again. Automa will kick my butt. Three eggs and another point. So I need to just focus on getting more eggs into my trees. So another three eggs. Man, it has a huge pile of eggs over here. We'll see, see how this goes. Um, it's a good game, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to the reprint. Um, I didn't, I didn't back it. I, should, I don't know. I have too many things on my Kickstarter list right, <laughs> right now. Uh, but I know people who have backed it, so I'll probably play their copy. Um, okay. So it got three. Did I give it another? I don't feel like it. Well, I can count right here. Uh, oh yeah, I did give it. Another. Okay, so it's back to my turn. Um, back to my turn. This is what always happens when I'm talking and playing. And this is why I play terribly. Uh, I can play my ruddy duck or. Uh, but I can't. Hmm. I just need to focus on eggs first. Yeah, let's let's get eggs to make sure I I don't lose to the uh, Automa. Same problem. You're having too many. Yeah, I know. I I don't want to even think about how many kicks. I, well, and then with all the shipping problems, which is understandable since last year and everything but with all the shipping problems i'm losing track of what should have come in when uh, i really need to make a spreadsheet and just go through it um i discarded uh, a thing to get four eggs uh so i'll put one there one there one there and nobody else has a tree okay uh, this owl does. So maybe I should just—I shouldn't have gotten rid of that rodent. That was probably a bad choice. Oh well, because I have two turns left. Well, that was—that was a bad choice. We'll—we'll we'll see if it means that I lose by three points today. Uh, Automa. Okay, the Automa takes its turn, and oh, this is good. This is very good. Uh, the Ottawa it would get rid of a rodent. There's no rodent, so it'll get rid of this. And then uh, I get to re-roll because I have my powers on my pink. Um, well, I will take a invertebrate. And I don't have any. That was very unlucky. Um, but I could take the food thing and then play the little owl. But then I won't get more eggs in my, yeah, ugh, what a, so what's the best, uh, my best one is my osprey, uh, my osprey, so, I, okay, I take that, and then I, I guess I'll just take another fish, um, Uh, that, that was unfortunate how I, I did not plan. Um, uh, okay, back to my turn now. Um, let's see here. This has three out of five eggs. This has two. Well, eggs are still points even if I don't win this. So I will... Eggs are points, so now I only need to keep one food. So I'm going to take the egg action. I will discard this to get four eggs again. Uh, I will put two here, and then uh, nowhere else really matters the same. So one here, one here. That's that, and then the Automa will do a thing. 
What are you most looking forward to on Kickstarter coming up? None match. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, out of the box back to the foundations of Rome. I don't know when that will be in, um, but I'm on the list to get one of those. I'm also waiting for my retail copy that they were supposed to get of the tiles for terraforming Mars. I didn't do the big box because I didn't think I needed it. Now I'm kind of regretting that, but uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to Three Sisters, whenever that comes around. Uh, Endless Wonder looks pretty cool. And and definitely Darwin's Journey. I, I went and all in on that the deluxe thing for the Darwin's Journey, except for, I think there might have been coins. I didn't do the coins. Um, Darwin's Journey is a lot of fun. We, we played that several times on Tabletop Simulator. Um, so I've done four things. The Automa has done four things. And how many should be over here? Let me make sure I'm giving it enough. Uh, one, two, three, two, three points should be over there for the um, And my last turn, I could either get four eggs, which is four points, or I could play this Osprey, which would cost me an egg, which is five. Either way, I would only get four points. I don't think there's anything else that lets me. This one gives me four points. I can play it somewhere on top of another card and discard. Oh, I can turn this into, instead of paying any cost, which would include eggs, I could play it here, but then I, well, I only need three up here anyway, so I can put this up here. Instead of paying any cost, that includes eight. You can play this bird on top of another bird on your player mat. And this, so this would turn this one into a five. So I'm gonna do that. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice one. I'm gonna play, play a bird. I'm gonna tuck this gold crest underneath because I got three birds in my forest. Oh, but well, I still have enough that eat seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, I have enough to get the, the lower one. I'm not going to have enough to get the higher one. So the common buzzard came along and ate my gold crest. And that's basically my game. And we'll see what the Automa finishes with. Does not get an end of round scoring, but does get three more eggs. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's do this. Um... I forgot a pencil. So let me grab a pen and I'll be right back. Right, let's score this game, see if I beat uh, eggs out. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I have picked these eggs up from several places. I love them. I probably should, I have little containers, I should probably put them in when I'm playing games like this. Um, I do sometimes, but I forget to get them out. Um, okay, so let me make sure there's, if there's anything special that Alma gets, as I don't remember. Uh, points from in around goals. Oh, All yeah, right, we should score that now. So Alma, um, eggs in, eggs in trees. Ooh, it gets seven plus a three is 10. So I don't know if I beat it because that's five. Oh, this can't go here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We tied, so it's a wash again. But at least it, it didn't get ahead of me. Um, all right. So end around goals, points per on it. Face up bird cards, and four points for each of these because I chose medium, and one point for each egg. Okay, so let's do that for the Automa first. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so birds, it got face up. Um, 13 points face up. And... 
for its how many face down cards do you get? You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times four is thirty-two. I don't know. I, I, I might have beat it. And then it gets one for all these eggs. You got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty. Twenty for its eggs. Twenty for the eggs. And for end of round goals, it got four, nine, 15, and seven is 22. And for its bonus cards, did it get two to three birds that live in the uh, prairie only? It did get three, so it gets three points from that. So the Automa will get a total of, let's see, Oh, does it score the bonus cards? We didn't mention it. Points from end around goals, points per round face up bird cards, four points for each face down bird, and one point. Does not gain points for its bonus card. Okay, so it does not get that three points there. So it gets uh, 32 and 13 is 45, uh, plus the 22 is 67, plus the 20 is a total of 87 for the Automa. That's not bad. It's not a Great score, but it's not bad. Um, let's see what I get. So uh, for my birds, I get uh, three, seven, uh, so 11, 16, 20, 27, uh, 32, 35, 42. I, I did, did okay with my birds. Not, not great this time. Uh, birds that eat seeds, one, two, three. Four, five, six. So I get three points for that. So three points. Birds that only live in the forest. One, two, three, which is enough for the four points there, which is a total of seven. And birds in their habitat with the fewest birds is two times two is four. So 11 points for my bonus cards. That's helpful. And then um, in the wrong goals, I got one, five is six. Plus the three is nine, plus the seven is sixteen. Automa beat me there. Eggs I have one, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. That's not very good. I usually do a lot better with my eggs. Um, food on card, which is none this time, and then uh, tucked cards. Let's see here. We get three. I usually do better with my tuck cards too. Four. That's four points. Uh, I think, yeah, it looks like the odd one got me. Because that's uh, three, nine, twelve, sixteen. Carry the one. <laughs> 86. Oh, okay. So that one thing that I thought, I said if it beats me by three points it, or, or less. Um, so 86 to 87. Automa beat me by one point. Uh, I did make a mistake. So um, the mistake came back to bite me for sure. Well, that's uh, Wingspan. <laughs> Wingspan against the Automa on medium, medium plus difficulty because I did include the Automa Bomb card in there. Um, I'm going to have to play it again. But I'll be back streaming tomorrow. I think it's at 10 a.m. Uh, today I'm, I'm playing role player and yeah. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing, right? Uh, when, when you lose by that much because you made a mistake that you knew about, but it's a fun game either way. I love the artwork. Um, love the game. It's a good game. It's a good game to share with other people. It's gotten some of my friends in the games. So I'm off to do some other things. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Happy gaming. Catch you later.